What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Off the Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so ha, we have completed everything on the east, the west side of Hoenn, and uh, before we do anything, oh, look at this. We are now enabled to use the, the passerby thing, and it turns out that the secret bases were updated and everything. Now, off screen, I was trading some Pokemon. And I was going through my Pokemon or Omega Ruby. Wow, can't even speak. Uh, to you know, grab a little item here because we desperately need it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a Water Stone right here from Pokemon Omega Ruby. If only I can get it. Where the hell is it? Somewhere around here. Uh, there you go. So yeah, we got an, uh, we got a Water Stone in Pokemon Omega Ruby. Now we're in Generation Six. And I'm gonna be taking a look at a little something right here, because uh, I don't want to—I don't want to miss out on something. I really don't. And if I miss out on something, then you know somebody's gonna be very, very angry about this. So here we go. In Generation Six, we got Lombre, and uh, yes, yes, yes. Come on. So it looks like to me, these are all the moves that it, it learns. Uh, of course, you guys are not seeing this, but yes. Uh, okay, so. Wow, I can't even, uh, yeah, okay, here we go, alrighty, so, let's see, in the game data, and I just need to take a look at this moveset right here, because, uh, yeah, we, 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 we need, we need this Pokemon strong, strong AF, okay, so, from what it looks like to me, this Pokemon needs, what, five more levels, four more levels, five, four, nah, four more levels to get to its final mo move, which is Hydro Pump, and, well, I don't really need it. I don't really need it because I actually did train a Lombre to, to learn, uh, or I actually did give Lombre the, what was it called, uh, the serve technique. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to sacrifice that, that Hydro Pump, and I'm going to evolve Lombre right here because... Chances are, we don't know if Ole is going to be on the team very much. I'm just uh, saying. And I did switch up a few moves here and there. Changed it up a little bit. But here it is, guys. Digivolution time. And our good old friend, Lombre, is now Ludicolo. The nickname really does fit it. Ole. Okay, alrighty. So, that's another fully evolved Pokemon, and again, <laughs> we are not done yet with our team. So, as you guys can see right here, we got ourselves Ludicolo. Now, if you guys notice a little something different, it is this, yes. I did capture myself a different Ludicolo, and then trained it up over my Pokemon Omega Ruby. And uh, this is what we got, the Swift Swim um, uh, ability, which is bo which boosts the Pokemon stat in the rain, hence the whole rain dance thing. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be teaching this Pokemon a little bit more moves. It's defensively, like, special defense, like, especially, it's, it's going to be good in all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and go toward the east side of uh, Hoenn right here. Now, first thing is first, guys. If you haven't done so, I would do so right here before you go into the east side, the east side of uh, Hoenn. And that is uh, get yourself a different bike, which is get yourself the Acro Bike. Because you're definitely going to be needing this bike going into the east side. And, well, what's going to happen now is we're going to be moving straight forward towards the east side right here. Okay. Alrighty. So here we are in Route 118, and I think this is like our first time right here. So we're going to be showcasing a few things, battling a few people, and well, would you look at this. We're taking on Aroma Lady Rose, and she will be coming out with an, an Oddish. Now, if memory serves me correctly, I probably, yeah, these Pokemon are not that strong. So, yeah, we, yeah, we... We probably need to, yeah, we probably need to get these Pokemon, uh, or we probably should have just battled these Pokemon, like, beforehand or something like that. So, there we go. We did a facade attack, and, uh, Shadow always kicking some butt, taking some names. Let's go right ahead and switch it up to Tommy JDF. Let's go. Alrighty. Okay. Alright. So, here we go, taking on Tommy JDF versus Roselia right here. 
And I, I saw the size comparison thing with with uh, Rosalia. It, it's it's shocking how small Rosalia is. And here we go, flame kick or blaze kick for the win. And uh, well, look at that. We're getting some more points for all of our Pokemon. And Aroma Rose Lady is just like she's not happy about this. Okay, so since we haven't battled anybody here, yeah, we're gonna be seeing a lot of uh, a lot of battles. And here we found ourselves a Stardust. That right there in itself, it's gonna be easy to find or to get. Um, let's see. Is there anything else that we need to grab right here? Before we continue on with our like little adventure right here, um, there might be a hidden item right here, and that there it is. We found ourselves another heart scale, which remember, heart scales can be used to to actually uh, what was it called? Uh, heart scales can be used to to teach Pokemon moves by the move tutor and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and train against this guy. He is a fisherman. Obviously, most of his Pokemon are gonna be weak. Just because, well, you know. Draven didn't train against these guys. So here we are taking on Fisherman Wade. And he will be coming out with a Carvana right here. This Pokemon, mean as hell. Here we have Gaia. And, well, let's go straight for a Magical Leaf right here. Anything physical against this Pokemon coming up right here? Yeah, nope, it's not going to work. So there we go, special attacks for the win. And, well, there we go. Wade is not happy about this right here. So, let's see. I think that's another one right there. If you talk to this guy, he says, Sometimes Pokemon hide underwater, too. Do you want me to show you a trick by into finding them? Sure. All right, all right. I'll teach you everything I know. If you take too much time, they'll run away, so you can't dawdle. Oh, should I do? Should I do it? Should I give away the most extraordinary technique I know? All right, then. This is the most treasure technique. It's about watching the Pokemon closely. Pokemon hiding underwater seem to play by coming to the surface in places they uh, like in order. Just when the just when and where they will come uh, to the surface, being able to figure out the figure that out is the most important technique of all. Which many of you guys already know. I I don't really get. I don't. So we're gonna be switching it up right here to Tommy JDF because well, this guy right here is going to have some electric type Pokemon. So let's get it. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Magnemite by guitarist Dalton right here, and well, later on he, later on he will want to battle you again, and his Pokemon will be a lot stronger, so that's pretty good right there. And well, here we go, Blaze Kick for the win. That's how you do it. Alrighty, alrighty, and well, let's see. Here he comes out with a Whismur, so we're gonna stay stay put right here. And this guy coming out with Whismur. Kind of says something about himself, you know, metal and all that stuff, and well, there it is, Blaze Kick for the win, and that's how you do it, and the guitarist, the guitarist Dalton is not too happy about this. Okay, so, let's go right ahead and surf towards the east side of Hoenn now, and as you guys can see right here, bam, we're finally here. We're going to be meeting up uh, with a few good trainers, one being this guy. He's like, hmm, good run is really good. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, it is. We're a fish, or we're identical minds. Hmm, take this good rod, and there it is, guys. We got ourselves a good rod, a step up from the old rod, and uh, yeah, that will definitely help us out right here. And, well, we got a familiar face right here, and I'm pretty sure I should just like take, the, take them on right here. Oh, you're Draven. Hi, do you remember us from last time? Can you show us how much stronger you've become? Okay, cue interview. That's kind of scary right there. So, here we go. Taking on interviewers Gabby and Ty. And, like, you know, like advertised, they have evolved their Pokemon. And, well, as you guys can see, they are both at level 29. Let's go with the Blaze Kick. And, you know what? Psychic doesn't, doesn't hurt very much. So, here we go, Loudred. There we go, Magneton, gone. And thank thankfully it, didn't, it doesn't have Sturdy or anything like that. So there we go, Tommy JDF at 45, and well, Shadow Eye, mooching off the winds right here. Here comes Gaia the Fierce Knight with its Psychic Attack, and just like that, Loudred defeated. And well, yeah, I'm throwing out that peace sign. 
an awesome battle. Hey, did you get that? Uh, every last bit of the battle we just got? Yeah, whatever. I'm not even reading that. Okay, so she's like, Gattaca. Do you remember? That's the quote you gave us the last battle, or gave us a battle for the last time. I never forever forget that. Anyway, do you think, uh, what do you think? Do you want to get interviewed again? Sure, let's go right ahead. And the feelings about this battle right here. Instead of Gattaca, I'm just going to put... I'm just going to put this. Uh, clean. Clean. Sweep. Clean sweep. There we go. It's going to be called a clean sweep just because it was a clean sweep. And, uh, well... What is she saying? Well, it will be keeping an eye out for you. That is so true. Now... Here you'll find yourself an iron, which, uh, yes, it's definitely something that you should probably get. Now, before you do anything, guys, because there is an event that's about to happen right here, I would, uh, I'm going to take a look at Olay right here, the newest one, and talk to this guy. I'm a fisherman, but also a trainer. I'm raising Pokemon I caught. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go. So here we go, taking on Barney, not the dinosaur. And, well, let's see what's all, what, what this Pokemon is all about. Of course, we don't have, we don't have our, what was it called? Um, we don't have our grass type moves anymore. I could learn, I could relearn, uh, what was it called? Uh, Absorb. But we're, we're going to wait until we get some pretty, like, pretty good moves and, or some other moves. And as you guys can see... Nature power turns into earth power. That right there takes away Carvana's ability to, you know, win or anything like that. So there you go. Look at that. And, well, he's coming out with another Pokemon, so I'm just going to stay put right here. And as you guys can see, he's got himself a goddamn Gyarados. Thankfully, I am not a physically imposing kind of dude. So here we go again. And the bite attack really hits us, so... Here we go, let's try it one more time with the nature power. And that doesn't affect this Pokemon, so yeah. I am uh, <laughs> not liking this right now. So let's take advantage of this rain by going straight to uh, Thunderball right here. And well, here comes a Leer attack. And that right there lowers our defense and nothing is raining anymore so let's go straight for a discharge attack and bam for the win oh my god so there we go taking on that and Barney has been defeated yes anywho I am going to be switching out Pokemon because there is a little something that happens right here that you guys probably need to take a like keep an eye out for. So once you cross over here and you get head up north right up here, you're gonna notice a little somebody, and that is Steven Stone himself. He's like, Why hello? We met in Granite Cave, we didn't we? No, I remember it. It's Draven, right? It's good to see that you're in your, uh, your that your uh, journey is still going well. You know, Draven, in this vast world, there are many kinds of Pokemon. They come in many types. Should you raise different types, or will you only raise a Pokemon of a certain type you like, or something like that? Yeah, I do. I wonder, I wonder what you think as a Pokemon trainer. Hmm. Not that, not that it's any I, anything I should be concerning myself with, but somehow I find myself wanting to know what you think. I suppose I should be going. I hope to see you again, though. And next thing you know it, something happens. Chua! Hmm. And look at this. Latios appears from the sky right here. And this is uh, rather strange right now because, well, Latios is like looking at us and he's like, Latios! Do you want us to soar somewhere with you? Draven, come with me. Latios, I believe that it sought us out for, for help. If that's the case, let's go. 
Okay, so here it is, guys. An event that is all that is exclusive to both Pokemon or to Pokemon Auras. If you're playing Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, Latios will appear to you, and you will be getting Latios in. Omega Ruby, you'll be seeing Latias, and you'll be getting Latias. But as you guys can see right here, we are in Southern Island, and Steven's going to be like, we've arrived. Thank you, Latios. Huh. I don't know what it is. Not quite an unease, not quite fear, but there is something unsettling. It is an odd feeling, as though I am walking in a dream or an illusion. I once heard an odd fable. It was said that the two Pokemon that live on this island guard some secret about the great form of evolution. Mega evolution. Could it be that some dangerous element is here because of that? Dot dot dot. Come, we should be going. So, mega evolution has been mentioned right here. And as many of you guys already know, we have gotten mega, like some mega stones in the process. And... Well, the what, this is a clear message right here. It's like, those whose memories fade seek to carve them in their hearts. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're going to be going through this forest. And as you guys can see, Latias is right there waiting for us. Now, Steven Stone is just going to be walking, and he's going to be like, hmm. Latias, it's beautiful. If I were to describe such beauty in, such, in terms of a stone, it would be a sunstone. No. It goes beyond that, isn't it? It isn't its brilliance like an old, like like a uh, like that of an, a Dawnstone. It is a fantastic as a Steel type Pokemon, and Latias is just like say some more. But here's what happens next: you got Team Aqua members coming after us. He's like, hmm, Team Aqua is it? So Latias noticed that uh, they're coming, and that is why she called us. Hmm, what's this? You? Huh? Mr. Myatt, sir. That pipsqueak over there is the kid that I heard that keeps on getting in our way. But that rather alluring gentleman with him. Oh, I feel like I know I should know some uh, know him from somewhere. Maybe he's a contest star? Nope, he's the champion and well <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna be a bad thing. Whoa! I have no time to worry about that. The name's Matt. That's Team Aqua Admin. Matt to you. What I want from you, or what I want from you, is that Latias behind you there. But that Megastone. We of Team Aqua are definitely gonna re are gonna need the transcendent power of Mega Evolution to achieve our ambitions. How about it? If you get out of, get out of our way, we won't rough you up. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not moving out, moving out of the way. That's right. Full points of uh, uh, full points for correct answer. I'll take part in this battle as well. Let's protect Latias for from these beasts together. We cannot allow Latias or even a Mega Stone to fall in the hands of such villains. Ho <laughs> ho! If you're really that stupid, then I have no choice but to squash you. Okay. So here it is, guys. We are going to be taking on Bam. Yes. Team Aqua Grunt and Team Aqua Admin Matt. This guy has been at the gym. He has been lifting a few weights here and there. And as you guys can see, they got themselves some pretty good Pokemon. And, well... So do we too. Alrighty, let's go. Double kick to Sharpedo. Here we go. Bam. That's right. That's how you feel. That's how you should feel. Oh, yeah. Getting your butt kicked. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. So Sharpedo faints. And, well, Lanoon doing nothing. Grows to level 34. And here comes a Zen headbutt. And just like that. Yeah, we might we might as well just like we mop the floor with these Team Aqua Grunts and well <laughs> He's like your strength is no joke that made me dizzy. Oh, <laughs> that's a loss. I can be proud of How do you how are you proud of a loss? Uh, I, 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 I don't know anywho beep. Oh strong ain't you you're an interesting punk too. I'll give you that I love interesting strong dudes That's why I love my bro Archie and that's why I'm going to start loving you from now on, too. Okay. All right. That's kind of weird, but okay. All right. Next time I see you, I'll smash you up real good, okay? Let's get out of here, you dull grunt. Y yes, sir. Hmm. Dull grunt and everything. Ha! <laughs> good work, Draven. Ah, that's right. 
We should heal up our Pokemon first, uh, you know, after the battle and all that crud. And, well, there it is. We got healed up. And you performed, you performed spectacularly. We were able to protect both this wonderful, uh, wondrous Pokemon and its Megastone thanks to you. As you guys can see, Latias is just like, oh, it recognizes you. Yeah, that's right. You are worthy. You are him. Look, it's trying to offer you its allegiance. I believe it is trying to show that it wants to go with you in your journey. Go on. Hold out your hand. And there it is, guys. We have a Latias. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so... I'm going to be switching out a Pokemon. That obvious Pokemon happens to be Lanoon because, well, you know, it's not really doing anything. And we're not going to give a nickname to this Pokemon, but right there, this is where we get the Lat Latias site. Keep this in mind, guys. The Latias site, the Latios site, they're split into two, okay? One has this, one has that. This is how you get their Mega Stone. So if you guys catch this on another channel of mine, you guys know what it is. And just like that, she disappears. And, well, you should take this from me. This right here is where you do get yourself a keystone. Look at that. My telemorpher. I am going to, yes. I'm going to morph into a Power Ranger. Fuck yeah. All right. So, after that... Steven's going to be like, with that Mega Bracelet and I, I just gave you and the Mega Stones that your Pokemon may hold, your Pokemon will be able to achieve a powerful boost, quite unlike any unusual form of evolution, but only if you are bound by a great affection. You will be able to achieve Mega Evolution. I suggest you try it with Latias the next time that you happen to have a chance in battle. Hmm. Mega Evolution is a phenomenon that has long been shrouded in mystery. What is a Mega Stone? What is a Keystone? The process by which bo which bonds between Pokemon and people manifest into in intangible power. How do we explain that? Hmm. I hope that Mega Bracelet I just gave you might bring us uh, one step closer to finding the answer to these questions. If that settles that, should we should we be headed back? Yes, together with Latios waiting so patiently for us here. Okay. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. So, we're going back on Latios' back, and, uh, well, that right there is a pretty darn good episode. Thank you for your help, Draven. Schwan! Perhaps it's trying to tell you to take good care of Latios. Of course, Latios is just like, I'll see you guys next time. In the end, you were a far greater help than I expected you to be. I expect you to. I expect you and your team will be able to best both uh, Route 119 ahead, even at the Fortree Gym beyond that. I'll be curious to see how much stronger you might get or might grow by the end of by the end of next time we meet. Until then, Draven. Okay. Alrighty. So that was that right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at this new Latias that we got. So. As you guys can see, if you're playing either Pokemon Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire, you will get one of the Latias. Since we're playing Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, we're going to get Latias. It has Heal Pulse, Dragon Pulse, or Dragon Breath, I should say, Mist Ball, and Psycho Shift. It has the Levitate ability, and, well, it is holding the Latias Sight. If you're playing Omega Ruby, you will be having Latios, and it will be having the Latios Sight. That is some pretty strong Pokemon right there. Pretty good dragon type Pokemon too, and uh, hopefully we use it a little bit later on in our adventure right here. So this has been it, guys. In the next episode, we'll be well, we'll be continuing on right here in our adventure, and uh, hopefully, just hopefully, we see some Mega Evolutions. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I'll see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure right here. See you guys.